In this video, I'm going to talk you through how you can research hot topics to create an information product around. And the first way that you can do that is to browse forums in your niche and see what's being talked about. Simply do a search in Google for your niche and forum and then take a look at the forums and see what questions keep coming up, see what people are asking, see what answers are being given. So for example, if you're in the weight loss niche, you can just simply do a search here in Google for weight loss forum. And as you can see, there are over 41,900,000 results. And then just simply go through some of these forums, uh, some of the top rated ones, and see what people are talking about, and see what questions are being asked, and see the answers that are being given. Another way is to use online research tools. And a few online sites you might want to look at are Google Trends. Uh, if you go to google.com forward slash trends, it'll take you to a page like this and you can choose from global trends or just limited to particular countries. I'm using the global trends for this demonstration and you can see it's showing what's trending now what people are looking for on Google you've got the trends for the previous year I'm recording this in March 2015 so it's got the 2014 charts here you can explore in depth graphically for example here this shows global interest in Game of Thrones um, it shows the trending YouTube videos um, and other searches like for example Justin Bieber versus Miley Cyrus and so on and you can use the information on this site to really drill down and see what people are looking for another site to look at is Quantcast which you'll find here at quantcast.com and what this does is it enables you to see the sort of audience that are being attracted by a particular site or a particular topic. So what you can do is do a search in Google for a particular topic and then put the highest rated sites through Quantcast to see the demographics um, and the sort of statistics that this site is generating. And you can either enter a site in here or you can browse the rankings. Let's just take a look and I'll show you what I mean. For example, if you were to look at say babycenter.com and you can look at data for the United States or elsewhere. Let's use the US data for this particular uh, demonstration. And you can see what its rank is. You can see how many people come to the site from a mobile device as opposed to online. You've got demographics uh, whether the people who visit the site are male or female and not surprisingly for this particular site they're mostly female you can tell their ages they're mostly 25 to 34 they have kids which would be you know as one would expect you have details about their income their education their ethnicity their voting intentions and how active they are in the US. So you can then tailor your product to meet this particular demographic. And finally there's Amazon.com movers and shakers and you can see which particular items are increasing in popularity and you can go through all sorts of things. Um, this is toys and games or cameras and photos, video games and so on and you can do things like clothing or books and you can see for example the latest Harry Potter is up uh, 20,000 compared to previously so it gives you an idea as to the sort of thing that people are looking for right now you can also look at products that have already sold well and there are a few sites that you can look at that will get you this information the first one is JVZoo which is jvzoo.com if you come here to marketplace and click here on top sellers 
and it takes you to this page and you can see it lists all the top sellers today if I scroll down a bit more the top sellers yesterday and over the past seven days and the past 30 days and what you can do is click on the link take a look at them see what they do and see how you can come up with something that might be a bit better or offer something that this particular product doesn't do. Another good site to look at is Clickbank and if you come to clickbank.com and click on the marketplace link it'll take you to this page and in some ways this is actually easier to find products uh, than it is on JVZoo because you can actually drill down by category so let's say for example you're putting together a product in the weight loss niche you can come down here to categories click on health and fitness which is the closest one for weight loss and then you can sort the products by various things by popularity and the average sale and so on for research purposes it's best to keep it at popularity and then you can go through and you can look at all the various products if you click on the link here it'll take you through to the website and you can have a look and see what's on offer another thing that you can do and this is often overlooked is to research offline and a good way to do that is to look at the magazines that are produced for a particular niche now a good way to find out which magazines are popular is to come to this site here magazines.com and then you want to choose a category click here where it says all categories and following on from our weight loss or health and fitness example from earlier if you click health and fitness and then sort them by best sellers click on that and now you can see the top best-selling magazines in this particular niche now you don't want to order these through this website because this is um, for subscriptions and it's only for subscriptions in the US however what I recommend you do is you make a note of these titles say the first half a dozen titles or so and then go down to your local newsstand or your local news agency and buy a copy buy a copy of each of them and then what you want to do is you want to go through and have a look at what they're talking about in these magazines look at the articles what the articles are being written about look at the editorial section and see what's being written about go to the letters to the editor section if there is one and see what people are writing in to the editor about and bear in mind that anything that gets published in a magazine is going to be topical and it's going to be popular because you know it costs a lot of money to uh, print and distribute a magazine so obviously the publishers want to make sure that their content is top-notch and you can use that to your advantage when you're doing research for your product and another good source of information is your local bookshop go down to your local bookshop, your local bookstore, you know, down at the mall or wherever and take a look at their non-fiction titles and in particular if your local bookstore is like mine they'll probably have a selection of bestsellers probably near the door somewhere and you can go through and look at the topics that are very popular that publishers are publishing books about and you can look through those and come up with lots of ideas so there you go, these are some very useful ways that you can research hot topics and then create a product about.